This is the BMS harness out of a first generation Chevy Volt. This is our front connector panel. I believe the main BMS is right in there. And you got your first BMS, second BMS, the manual service disconnect, rear BMSs, and the current sensor. Those are all components of Chevy Volt BMS harness. And we'll pick this back from here. There's four screws holding the back cover on. We'll zip them off real quick and see what's inside. Side, we have a circuit board. All kinds of interesting stuff. So the BMS plug that plugs into the battery has individual slots that slide right down into individual channels in the module. Kind of like in this 48 volt module here. You can see there's little plastic walls in between each and every terminal. Then, like I said, the plug-in has individual little channels to fit. Into those spots. Yep, and I'm back to Hey, ducky. Oh my goodness. So it seems like it'd be real difficult for any of these terminals to short, even if one got bent over. It'd just be in this little cubicle. And even with the plug-ins, it'd be real difficult to short because they're segregated. So maybe something crossed one of these terminals, I'd say any one of them shorting would be bad. Hello Ducky, you helping here too? So yeah, the connectors, the pigtails I guess you would call them. All seem pretty well designed and robust and I can't really speak of the circuit board too awful much but unless maybe the circuit board itself was switched out with a aftermarket or DIY type of a circuit board to make it usable but I just wanted to document or I guess for discussion purposes a Volt VMS wiring harness and associated components more to come